What's up everybody, it's your man Jay Filt from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com and today we are showing you how to create a lush lo-fi beat from scratch. So let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome everybody. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. If you like video, beat making videos and tutorials, that kind of thing, product reviews, Check your boy out. Hit that notify button in the comments below. Shout out where you're from. Back to the video. I get this question a lot. So how do you do lo-fi beats? Here, here's a big misconception right here. People think that you have to have an SP404 or some type of SP to make lo-fi beats. That's not true. I'm in GarageBand right now. I'm going to break down how you can make a lo-fi beat. Okay, super, super easy. A, a lot easier than you might expect. So anyway, I'm going to play a couple of chords. And if you don't know how to play chords, and you don't have to be a keyboard player or nothing like that. I'm going to show you exactly what you can do. I'm actually going to use an ebook, But I'm going to show you two chords. I'm going to do a chord progression, right? And here are my chords. First chord is... Right? Second chord will be first chord, second chord. That's all I'm going to use. Now, the rhythm is up to you. Now, how did I come up with this? This I'm using the ebook right now, as you, you can, might, might be able to see this. And I'll, I'll even post the, uh, these chords on the screen so you can see better. So, anyway, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and record that. And... There's some elements, some common elements that you may notice with lo-fi beats. One of those elements is the tempo. Another element is the just the aesthetic of it, the, the sound of it, the dirtiness of it, the grit of it. So the tempos can range anywhere from like very down tempo to like 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 65 all the way up to like 100 or something. It's, re it's really up to the producer. You know, I, I'm not here to set rules. I'm here to break them, <laughs> but I'm going to give you some common stuff that you will hear generally in this genre. So anyway, let's go ahead for it. We're going to go ahead and start with a Rhodes sample and with these chords right here. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I have the tempo set at 146, and the only reason is so I can have that tempo, the, the little metronome ticking faster. Half of that will be 70 three right <laughs> my math ain't that sweet but anyway we're gonna go ahead and record this let's see we can do something like this uh something like or maybe change the rhythm because it's all about the chords the rhythm how you do it is up to you so maybe i can do right yeah, let's try that. Let's do something like that. That's good enough for me. It don't have to be perfect. Okay, so right off the bat, I know what I want to do with this. I want to put like um, some tremolo on here. I'm in GarageBand. Right, and I want to dirty it up some. So I'm going to put this little bit crusher on here. And uh, this down here, put a little bit crusher, bit crusher. There it is. And I'm using 11 bit. That way, that adds extra noise to it. So, right? That's pretty cool. All right. So now let's uh, maybe throw some drums in here. Now these drums, drums are really up to you. But uh, I'm going to actually supply some drums for you guys. Some free drums that I have in the link below. So let's start with the kick. And there you go. So the way I used these drums were I had three instances of Serato sample. And that looks like this over here. And I'll leave a link below to, you know, you can, this is free, by the way. I mean, you can try Serato Sample for free. You don't have to, but, you know, this is just, I'm just showing you 
what I've been doing lately. All right, so let's let's just throw it, go ahead and throw a kick in here. Here we go. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Let's go ahead and throw a snare. I, now I did the same thing with the snare. I threw that in Serato sample, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and record it. Here we go. All right, now let's do hi-hats. The rhythm is up to you guys. I mean, I'm keeping it real simple, by the way, just like super, super simple. I'm just gonna do something like, or let's see. Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do that, I'll do it. A constant, two, three. I'll leave it at that. All right. So now, and keep in mind, I am not quantizing anything. No quantize. This is how it gets, you know, very, very realistic sounding, a little sloppy, if you will. Okay. Now, another element, vinyl, vinyl sound. I'm using right here, this is an AU sampler. And all I did was drag a sound into this guy. Here's the editor right here, right? And I took a sound out of uh, the, the kit that I'm going to supply, which is in the link below, and I dragged it in this guy, right? So now I have, you hear that? All right, so let's go ahead and record that. All right, so, you know. This sound is mapped across all the keys. So I just did something like that, you know, as it recorded. So now. Right? All right. So next. And I can actually turn that down some. Next thing. Um, I normally like to have like at least like now we talk about lush lo-fi. So I want more than just one sound meaning like uh like a chord i want like a melody as well so i chose the vibraphone very 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 lushful sound so let's come up with something do something super super easy something like that i could do something like that let's record that Right now, the same thing uh, with vibe. I, I want to add like some noise to it. So I'm used down here where it says fade. I wanted to add some distortion. So let's turn that on. Drag it over here so you can see what that looks like. That's the that's get this guy right here. And I just had like two percent intensity. So it's very, very subtle. That just adds to the dirt. Right? All right, so now, this is optional, bass. I love, see, if you if you know me, you know I got to have bass in my beats. But it's not mandatory, especially like if you have a sample that has bass in it, then cool. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and add a sub bass. And so, you know, you could get sub basses anywhere. All right, so I'll just play like a simple bass line and I'll use the basic root notes. So. I'll do something like that. Now, when I say root notes, I mean the, the, the note that the key of the song is in like or the chord okay so like the first chord was b flat was a b flat major seven sus two 
and the second chord was an A major seven. So I'm gonna use a B flat bass and an A bass. Right? Boom, boom. And it like like I said before, this is mandi uh, not mandatory. This is optional. All right, here we go. Same note. All right, so next thing I want to do is add like a sound effects on top of the vinyl. So this is funny. I went outside with my phone. It was, you know, late night. And I just recorded the, the night sounds, you know, crickets, the you know what night sounds like. <laughs> And then I just, I made a, a sound file off my phone, basically, and just recorded it. You know, you take your smartphone and just, re, you know, go to your, you know, uh, whether it's a video or into your, like, if you're recording a memo, and then just hit the record button. So, I have that over here, <laughs> and I'm going to drag it, and this is what it sounds like. See? That, that was just me outside. I'm just going to go ahead and drag that file. <laughs> and you can get, you know, stuff. You find stuff like this off the internet. Drag that in here. So that's an audio file. And right off the bat, let me, let me stretch this some more. Get this closer. Right. Yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm going to clip, I'm going to clip this. I don't need that beginning part. I just need, let me go back. Oops. Do something like that. And see this, this loud piece right here, I don't, I don't need that either. So I'll click that out. Get rid of that. And then just have something like this. And maybe maybe I'll copy this and paste it. So now it's like that. Yeah, yeah, see? And then now I could go ahead and loop that. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll go ahead and make this. Uh, <coughs> I'll loop these two regions. I'll glue these two regions together by uh, going to edit and join those regions. Boom. That's fine. All right, cool. So now you got something, you know, you can mess with. Say you, you want it faster or slower, you can always slow it down. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need a master track. Forgot to tell you guys. A master. Show your master track. Boom. This Crate Digger. Oh, yeah. Before I get to that master, this Crate Digger, this is just like, say you want some extra sounds, you know, that you might want to throw here and there, you know, just to throw it off some. You know, I don't know. Let's just see if we could find something. This Crate Digger, this is part of Garage Man. This is all stock sounds, by the way. Right? Randomly throw stuff in there, you know, it, it ain't got to be perfect <laughs> See that wasn't perfect, but you know that, That's just something to work with you could always throw stuff in and out, you know And that's what this loop is you know, and then let's say um, I'm pretty much done and, you know, you can go ahead and copy all these joints, right? Select everything. Right. And then copy and paste. And then, you know, go ahead and arrange and when I say arrange, you know, you could create like an intro and stuff like that, an ending, and take things in and out. You know, I would want, I would, I would want that uh, night joint to stay in there too, and the vinyl. I want that to stay the whole time. You know. 
this is just an example, you know, I can do something like that. And then drop everything else in, boom. Right, that's a nice lustful type of sound. Now let's go back to the master. Okay, master. I definitely want everything compressed. So that way it will glue all these tracks together, right? And then you want to put a limiter so it doesn't get distorted. All right, let's squeeze everything, you know, and, and this is up to you. You can make it a little brighter if you wanted to. I'm saying so you know there you have it that's like a lush you know and I'm still I'm still working on obviously this is not the finish finish touch you know there's more things that I could possibly do but this is to give you a nice general idea on how to create a nice lushful lo-fi beat from scratch and then you didn't even have to you know sample anything <laughs> All right, so I hope that helps at least one or two people. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace and positive energy. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. More videos on the way. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the links down below this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.